Garhwali language is a central Pahari language belonging to the northern zone of Indo-Aryan languages. It is primarily spoken by over 2.5 million Garhwali people who are from the Garhwal division of the northern Indian state of Uttarakhand in the Indian Himalayas. The central Pahari languages include Garhwali and Kamauni, spoken in the Kamaun region of Uttarakhand. Garhwali, like Kamauni, has many regional dialects spoken in different places in Uttarakhand. The script used for Garhwali is Devanagari. Due to a number of reasons, Garhwali is one of the languages which is shrinking very rapidly. UNESCO's Atlas of the World's Languages in Danger designates Garhwali as a language which is in the unsafe category and requires consistent conservation efforts. Almost all people who can speak and understand Garhwali can also speak and understand Hindi, one of the most commonly spoken languages of India. As per a study, Garhwali is only 50% intelligible for Hindi speakers and there is one way full intelligibility of Hindi for Garhwali speakers because of the high rate of Hindi literacy in Uttarakhand and the popularity of Hindi in northern India. Geographical <laughs> distribution <laughs> 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 Garhwali is spoken primarily by people in Teri Garhwal, Pauri Garhwal, Uttarkashi, Chamoli, Rudraprayag and Dehradun districts of Garhwal division in the state Uttarakhand. Garhwali is also spoken by Garhwali migrants to other parts of India including Himachal Pradesh, Delhi, Haryana, Punjab, Uttar Pradesh and Bihar. According to various estimates, there are at least 2.5 million Garhwali migrants living in Delhi and the national capital region. It is difficult to estimate the exact number of Garhwali speakers, as different agencies give different accounts of this number. According to the 2001 Census of Languages in India, there were 22, 67,314 Garhwali language speakers, while Ethnologue gave a much larger figure of 29, 20,000 Garhwali language speakers in a 2005 report. As per the latest 2011 Census of Languages in India, there are an estimated 24, 82,089 speakers of the Garhwali. If any of these figures are correct, then Garhwali is more widely spoken than many of the languages included in the 8th schedule of the Constitution of India. <laughs> <laughs> Alternate names The ethnologue has catalogued alternate names by which Garhwali is known such as Gadavali, Gadawala, Gadwahi, Goshwali, Garhwali, Gadawali, Gorwali, Gurvali, and Pahari Garhwali. These alternate names of the language may have come from the speakers having more than one name for their language, or variant spellings and pronunciations of what is essentially the same name. <laughs> Development of Garhwali In the middle period of the course of development of Indo-Aryan languages, there were many Prakrit. Of these, the Kas Prakrit is believed to be the source of Garhwali 6. The early form of Garhwali can be traced to the 10th century which is found in numismatics, royal seals, inscriptional writings on copper plates and temple stones containing royal orders and grants. One such early example is the temple grant inscription of King Jagatpal at Dev Prayag 1335 AD. Most of the Garhwali literature is preserved in folk form, handed down verbally from generation to generation but since the 18th century, literary traditions are flourishing. Till the 17th century, Garhwal was always a sovereign nation under the Garhwali kings. Naturally, Garhwali was the official language of the Garhwal kingdom. <laughs> Garhwali dialects Srinagariya Srinagariya classical Garhwali spoken in erstwhile royal capital, Srinagar, accepted as standard Garhwali by most scholars. Chandpuriya Kandapuriya spoken in Chandpur region area in Chamoli district. Tiriyali, Tiriyali Gangapariya Gangapariya spoken in Teri Garhwal. Badani, Badani spoken in Chamoli Garhwal. Dasalia Dasalia Lohabya Lohabia Maj Kumaya Manja Kumaya spoken at the border of Garhwal and Kumaon. Nagpuriya Nagapuriya spoken in Rudraprayag district. Radi Radi spoken in Rath area of Pauri Garhwal. Salani Salani spoken in Tala Salan, Mala Salan and Ganga Salan Parganas of Pauri. 
Ranwalti, Ranwalti spoken in Ranwain, Ranvami the Yamuna Valley of Uttarkashi. Bangani, Bangani spoken in Bangan, Bangana area of Uttarkashi. Parvati, reportedly not mutually intelligible with other dialects. Janpuri, Janapuri spoken in Uttarkashi and Terry districts. Gangadi, Gangari spoken in Uttarkashi. Chankati Kandakoti spoken in Pauri. Linguistically unrelated but geographically neighboring languages include the Tibeto Burman language Marki, Bosha, spoken by Marches, neighboring Tibet. Linguistics Morphology Gurwali pronouns Gurwali cases Topic Numerals Topic Phonology There are many differences from Hindi and other Indic languages, for example in the palatal approximant, J, or the presence of a retroflex lateral. Gurwali also has different allophones. Phone or phoneme Topic Vowels Topic Monophonic vowels There are many theories used to explain how many monophthongs are used in the Gurwali language. The non-Gurwali Indian scholars with some Gurwali scholars who believes Gurwali as a dialect of Hindi who follows common Hindustani phonology argue that there are eight vowels found within the language are I, U, E, O. A Gurwali language scholar Mr. Bhishma Kukreti argues that is not present in the language instead of it long schwa i.e., skeptical smiley face, is used. Although it can be accepted that southern Gurwali dialects have uses of instead, skeptical smiley face. If we follow his rule of vowel length we found that there are five vowels found in Gurwali. The three are with their vowel length as skeptical smiley face, skeptical smiley face, skeptical smiley face. Other two, o, and, e, with no vowel length. But there are thirteen vowels founded by Mr. Anup Chandra Chandola as follows i, u, e, o, a, y. His arguments can be accepted as universal also, which is used only in southern dialects but borrowed to standard dialect for distinction purposes. But Bhishma Kukreti's argument about vowel length is also accepted. Hence we concluded that Gurwali standard Gurwali in this mean has 12 vowels. I, U, E, O, A, Y. Where 3 has vowel length, skeptical smiley face, skeptical smiley face, skeptical smiley face. Topic. Diphthongs there are diphthongs in the language which makes the words distinctive than other. However diphthongs vary dialect by dialect. Triphthongs Triphthongs are less commonly found in the language. The most common word where a triphthong may occur is vana English, may be, hn, in standard Gurwali or, han, in some dialects. However many speakers can't realize the presence of triphthongs. Other triphthongs might be discovered if more academic research were done on the language. Topic: Consonants. Topic: Tenuous consonants. Topic: Aspirated consonants. Y R L L V S and the nasal consonants M N U N N have no aspirated consonantal sound. Topic: <laughs> Allophony. The Gurwali speakers are most familiar with allophones in the Gurwali language. 
For example, Fay IPA, P, is used as Fay in the word Fula IPA, P U. English, flower, but pronounced as pa IPA, P, in the word safeda IPA, spet, English, white. Topic: Allophones of aspirated consonants. Topic: Conversion to tenuous consonant or loss of aspiration. Almost every aspirated consonant exhibits allophonic variation. Each aspirated consonant can be converted into the corresponding tenuous consonant. This can be called loss of aspiration. Topic: Allophone of cha. Topic: Allophones of tenuous consonants. Topic: Conversion from voiced to voiceless consonant. A few of the tenuous consonants have allophonic variation. In some cases, a voiced consonant can be converted into the corresponding voiceless consonant. Other allophones Topic Assimilation Garwali exhibits deep assimilation phonology features. Garwali has schwa deletion during Sandhi, as in Hindi, but in other assimilation features it differs from Hindi. An example is the phrase Radeshama. When we write this separately, Rade and Siyama IPA, RDE, and Sai M, it retains its original phonetic feature, but when assimilated it sounds like Rasyama, RSSYM, or Radziyama, RDCM. <laughs> <laughs> Verb conjugation Conjugation of the verb Latin Latona to look, in all three tenses in Garwali. Topic. Present tense Singular plural Topic. Past tense Singular plural Topic. Future tense Singular plural Topic. Example of short phrases Topic Earliest known audio recordings The earliest known audio recordings of Garhwali language were done in the Monumental Linguistic Survey of India led by George Abraham Grierson, a member of the Indian Civil Service and a linguist. LSI documented more than 300 spoken Indian languages and recorded voices and written forms between 1894 and 1928. Garhwali language was featured in Part 4, Pahari Languages and Gujari of Volume 9, Indo-Aryan Languages, Central Group, published in 1916 by Grierson. Recordings include the parable of the prodigal son and of a well-known folk tale, the fable of the bundle of sticks in Garhwali. Topic: <laughs> Debates concerning the classification of the Bangani dialect. The Bangani dialect of Garhwali is of interest amongst scholars of Indo-European languages, due to some unusual features. Since the 1980s, Claus Peter Zoller, a scholar of Indian linguistics and literature, has claimed that there is a centum language substrate in the Bangani dialect. Zoller has also suggested that Bangani has been misclassified as a dialect of Garhwali and is more closely related to the Western Pahari languages. The substance of Zoller's claims has been rejected by George Van Dream and Sunu Sharma, in publications since 1996, which claim that Zoller's data was flawed and that Bangani is an unambiguously Satim language. Zoller does not accept the findings by Van Dream and Sharma. Some support for Zoller's hypothesis has been offered by other linguists and or Indologists, such as Anvita Abbey, Hans Henrik Hock, and Konrad Elst. Comparative analysis with other Indian languages Comparison with Hindi 
Gurwali is generally regarded as a language distinct from Hindi. Although some scholars call it a dialect of Hindi, Gurwali differs from it in various aspects of phonology, morphology, semantics and syntax. Topic: <laughs> Using instrumental and ablative cases and degrees. Gurwali language has more specific words used for the instrumental and ablative cases and degrees while Hindi has only one. Here are the examples shown. Topic comparison with Gujarati The most similar feature in both languages is using of R in Gujarati and R like suffix R is used in English for person's relation with its object of occupation. Topic. Problems and issues According to the UNESCO Atlas of World's Languages in Danger, Gurwali is in the category of vulnerable language. The reasons for this are manifold. Key amongst them is the lack of patronization at the state and central government levels. Gurwali is regarded as a dialect or mother tongue as per the census of languages and is counted as a dialect of Hindi. It has not received patronage at the state level. History has a role to play as well. Historically, Sanskrit was the language of the Gurwali court and Gurwali was the language of the people. During the British Raj and in the period after independence of India, the Garhwal region was included in the Hindi-speaking state of Uttar Pradesh for decades. Further, Uttar Pradesh government's policy of affirmative action through the law of reservation of jobs for the SCST population in Uttar Pradesh is said to have led to increased migration of Hindi speakers from the plains of Uttar Pradesh to the cities of Garhwal to make up for the low percentage of SCST population in Garhwal. These factors are also said to contribute to increased importance of Hindi and reduced prestige for Gurwali language in the minds of the local population. Today, Gurwali is not used in the official domain. It is not taught at school or college level. Its usage remains limited to home and local use. Further, migration to other parts of India and the ever increasing pressure of globalization has led to diminishing importance of Gurwali for the local population. Knowledge of Gurwali is not regarded as a special skill and gathering Hindi and English skills for economic and social progress are viewed as critical. Out migration for economic reasons has further relegated the language to low prestige status amongst its speakers. Since the creation of Gurwal army regiments during the British rule, temporary out migration had been the trend. Over the last century, as most of the economic opportunities tended to concentrate in plain areas, temporary out-migration followed by eventual return migration was witnessed. Since 2000, the situation has changed substantially with many out-migrating permanently along with families from Gurwal mainly to eke out their livelihoods and better future of their children. I think of my parents' generation, the socially mobile one which grew up in the urban. They listened to Gurwali all their lives from their parents. But their naturalization was in Hindi lingua franca of the North Indian urban, including Dehradun and then English at school. They speak the language either when someone comes from the village, or as a mock performative thing like the kids speak with daddy. By the time you come to our generation, the traces are almost gone. Successive state governments have not done much to stem the tide. The state does not accord Gurwali the status of state language. Hindi and Sanskrit are the official languages of Uttarakhand. State universities did not have Gurwali language departments till as recently as 2014. Gurwali has not received much attention from the academia, and much of the research on the language has been driven by local linguists. In 2017, the state government announced a proposal to adopt English as the medium of instruction for early age learners from class 1 in 18000 government schools, thus ignoring the key role played by the mother tongue or home language in early learning and subject-based learning. The economic development experience of Uttarakhand continues to mainly centered in three plain districts of the state, and 10 hill districts remain far behind in this increasing prosperity of the state. Due to this lopsided development, the pace of out migration could not slow down from the hill districts of the Uttarakhand after its formation. The pace of out migration is so huge that many of the villages in Garhwal are left with a population in single digit. These are some of the factors contributing to the deteriorating health of Garhwali and the declining number of its speakers. While the UNESCO vulnerable language category is by far the healthiest category amongst the categories of endangered languages, it does not take long for a language to gradually head towards the category of critically endangered. Topic: 
Struggle for official recognition Since the formation of Uttarakhand in 2000, successive state governments have been slow-footed in promoting and developing the regional languages of Uttarakhand. Like other languages of Uttarakhand, Garhwali, the most spoken language does not have official recognition. In 2010, Hindi was made the official language and Sanskrit the second official language of the Uttarakhand, ceding to long-standing demands to make Garhwali the official language of Uttarakhand and to be taught at schools and universities. In 2014, the Uttarakhand state government issued orders to set up departments of Kumaoni and Garhwali languages at Kumaon University and Garhwal University, respectively, and to introduce Kumaoni and Garhwali language courses at the undergraduate level. In 2016, State Council of Educational Research and Training announced that Garhwali, Kumaoni, Jansari and Rang languages would be introduced on pilot basis for students in Standard 1 to 10th in government schools under the Know Your Uttarakhand project. At the national level, there have been constant demands to include Garhwali in the eighth schedule of the Constitution of India so that it could be made one of the scheduled language of India. In July 2010, a member of parliament from Pauri Garhwal, Satpal Maharaj brought a private member's bill in the Lok Sabha to include Garhwali and Kumaoni languages in the eighth schedule of the constitution. As is the case with most private member's bills, this bill was not discussed in parliament and has since lapsed. Organizations <laughs> 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 There have been small movements to preserve and develop Garhwali language and culture but primarily, these have been restricted to individuals and communities. The Ukhil Garhwal Sabha, a citizens group in Dehradun aims to raise awareness amongst young Garhwalis about Garhwali language and culture. From 2012 onwards, it has been organizing an annual two-week Garhwali language workshop in which it provides training in the language and presents the interesting specificities of the language to the learners in Dehradun. It has also been the organizer of a series of seven days cultural programs called Katig Uttarakhand Mahatsava from 1998 onwards to promote traditional folk dances and traditions of Uttarakhand. It publishes a monthly Garhwali newspaper called Rant Raibar. On the initiative of the Ukhil Garhwal Sabha, the Uttarakhand State Department of Culture published a comprehensive dictionary of the Garhwali language which has Hindi and English meanings of the Garhwali words. A team of authors led by eminent Garhwali scholars Achalanand Jakmala and B. P. Natiyal sourced Garhwali words spoken in all areas of Garhwal and compiled them in a most comprehensive lexicon of the language. Windsor Publishing Company is an organization that has dedicated a large part of its publications to Garhwali language and literature. The first Garhwali language app called Chakal Garhwali Dictionary that lists Garhwali words as well as information on Garhwali culture, traditions, and heritage was launched in 2015. In 2017, the Delhi state government announced its intention to create 12 regional language academies under the government's Art, Culture and Languages Department including an academy for Garhwali language. In 2018, the Uttarakhand state government announced plans to launch a state cultural centre as a hub of all cultural activities in Dehradun which would have an auditorium, six art galleries, a library, a museum, an amphitheatre and a place for symposiums and seminars to promote Uttarakhand's traditional Pahari language and culture. Topic Garhwali literature Modern day Garhwali has rich literature in all genres including poetry, novels, short stories and plays. Earlier, Garhwali language was present only as folklore. It had practically no literature. Though according to Saklani, a regular literary activity throughout the known history of Garhwal has been reported with most of such efforts related to the orthodox themes of religious matters, poetics, astronomy, astrology, and Ayurveda, etc. Most of these works were the copies of the ancient texts, however, few original works related to history, poetry, religion, and architecture are also said to exist. It was only in the 20th century, due to the influence of English language, modern literary forms and themes were adopted. This literature was written both in Hindi and Garhwali. The oldest manuscript in Garhwali that has been found is a poem named Ranch Judia Judij Gimson G, written by P. T. Jayadev Bahaguna. 16th century. In 1828 AD, Maharaja Sudarshan Shah wrote Sabasar. In 1830 AD, American missionaries published the New Testament in Garhwali. The Gospel of St. Matthew in Garhwali was printed at Lucknow in the year 1876. 
Pandit Gobind Prasad Gildial, B.A. translated the first part of the Hindi Rajniti into Garhwali, and this was printed at Almora in 1901. Several specimens of Garhwali were also found in Pandit Ganga Dat Upreti's hill dialects of the Kumaon division. Pandit Ganga Dat Upreti also collected and published Proverbs and Folklore of Kamaon and Garhwal in 1894. The principal forms of Gariwali grammar were first published in Dr. Kellogg's Hindi Grammar, second edition, London, 1893. The first and comprehensive research work about the Garhwali language, its various dialects, where is it spoken, number of speakers, grammar, vocabulary, phrases and specimens was done in Part 4, Volume 9 of the Linguistic Survey of India. The five local Hindi newspapers of Garhwal of the early 20th century helped to bring about cultural and political awakening in Garhwal. The early writers keen to project and nurture the cultural heritage of Garhwal. These papers were conscious of the cultural exclusiveness of the region and nurtured the feeling for Garhwal nationalism. Atma Ram Gairola wrote in a poem that Garhwalis of both the parts state and British are extremely proud of the fact that we are Garhwalises. Writers like Chandra Mohan Rattori and Tara Dutt Gairola asked the young writers to write only in the Garhwali language, because one could write more sweetly, poignantly and judiciously in one's own mother tongue. These poets and writers brought renaissance in the Garhwali literature. Collections of various oral folk literary traditions, like ancient folk songs, Mongol, Badiali, Panwara, etc., were also made available during this period. Some of the famous writers of Garhwal of that era were Sudarsan Shah, Kumudanan Bahaguna, Hari Dutt Sharma, Natiyal, Hari Krishna Daurgaduti Rudola, Irvi Dutt Shastri, Bal Krishna Bhatt, Mahadar Dongwal, etc. Few writers writing in Garhwali were Chandra Mohan Rattori, Satyasaran Rattori, Atma Ram Gairola, Sanatananan Saklani, Devendra Dutt Rattori, Saradit Saklani, etc. Some of the historians were Mola Ram, Mia Prem Singh, Hari Dutt Shastri, Hari Krishna Rattori, Vijaya Ram Rattori. <laughs> Contemporary Garhwali literature Garhwali literature has been flourishing despite government negligence. Today, newspapers like Udarakan Kabarzar and Rant Raibar are published entirely in Garhwali. Magazines like Baduli, Hylons, Chitthi Patri, and Dodd contribute to the development of the Garhwali language. In 2010, the Sahitya Akademi conferred Basha Salmon on two Garhwali writers, Sudama Prasad Primi and Premlal Bhatt. The Sahitya Akademi also organized Garhwali Basha Samelan, Garhwali Language Convention at Pauri Garhwal in June 2010. Many Garhwali Kavi Samelan poetry readings are organized in different parts of Uttarakhand and, in Delhi and Mumbai. Notable Garhwali writers Abode Banda Bahaguna known for his contribution to modern Garhwali writing including plays, poems, and essays. Some writings include God, Mayateki Ganga, and Bumail. Atmaram Gairola Ravindra Dutt Chamoli Bakan Singh Negi Garhwali translation of Mahabharata and Ramayana Baldev Prasad Din Shukla Bada Godai Kya Tiru Nao Cha Garwali Nirtia Natika Bina Benjwal Kameda Akar Bhagbati Prasad Panthri Ada Patan and Panch Fool Bhajan Singh Singh Singhnad Bawanidat Thaplyal Pralhad Boladit Devrani Malithaki Kool Bijendra Prasad Nathani, Bala Sundari Darshan, Kot Gaon Nathani Vanchawali, Ristan Ki Amiyat, Chithi Patri Collection, Chakradar Bahaguna, Mokong, Chandramohan Rattori, Fionli, Chinmay Sayar, Honor, Dr. Narendra Ganyal, Deet, Dr. Shivanand Natiyal, Durga Prasad Gildial B. Wari, M. Wari, and Gari. Garish Juyal Kutaj, Kigtat. Gavine Chadak, Kya Gori Kya Sanli. Harsh Parvadiya, Gainaka Nau Par. 
Jayakrishna Daurgadati, Vedant Sandesh, Jayanand Kugsal, Halmatu Dada, Kanhayalal Dandrial, Kavi, poet, Anjwal, Mangtu, Nagraha, in two parts, Keshavanan Kainthola, Chanfal Ramayan, Lalit Keshwan, Kielda Fool Hainsda Pot, Hari Hindwan, Lalit Mohan Thapalyal, Akrian Ku Tal, Liladar Jagudi, 1944, writer and novelist, Padmashri, Lokesh Nawani, Fanchi, Maiden Mohan Duklan, Andi Jandi Sans, Mahavir Prasad Gairola, Parbati, Pratap Shikar, Karedi Fatagi, Premal Bhat, Umal, Purushottam Dobal, Satanan Kukreti, Satyasharan Ritori, Yutha Garwalian, Sridhar Jamloki, Gardurdasa, Sudama Prasad Premi, Agyal, Sulachana Parmar Taradit Gairola (1875–1940), known for his contribution to the folklore of Garhwal and for writing modern Garhwali poetry, including Sade, Varendra Panwar, Inma Kankwe on Basant, Poetry, Bin Critic, Shween Bath, Interviews, Geet Gan Ka, Geet, Kathga Kauri Hauer, Translation of Hindi story, Dr. Ramesh Pokhreel Nishank to Garhwali, Vishalmani Nathani, Chakrashal, Kothik, Bedi Bawari. Pianli Jawan Wegi, Matho Singh Bandari Nirtia Natika, Mary Ganga Holi Ta Mai Ma Bowri Aali, Jitu Bagdwal, etc. Scripts writer Usage In media In the last few decades Garhwali folk singers like Narendra Singh Negi, Priyatam Bhartwan and many more have roused people's interest in the Garhwali language by their popular songs and videos. On average there is one movie in four or five years in Garhwali. Anuj Joshi Hindi, Anuja Jasi is one of the prominent Garhwali film director. In order to create a folk genome tank of Uttarakhand where one can find each genre and occasions in the form of folk music, and to bring the melodious folk from the heart of Himalaya to the global screen, the very first internet radio of Kumaon, Garhwal, Jansar was launched in 2008 by a group of non-resident Uttarakhandi from New York, which has been gaining significant popularity among inhabitants and migrants since its beta version was launched in 2010. This was named after a very famous melody of the hills of Himalaya, Bedupako Baramasa o Narain Kafal Pako Cheta Bedupako. See also Garhwal Division Kumaoni language Garhwal Kingdom Sil Topic Further reading Upreti, Ganga Dutt 1894. Proverbs and Folklore of Kamaon and Garhwal. Ladiana Mission Press. Gavine Chadak Garhwali Basha, Lakbarti Prakashan, Dehradun, 1959. Haradit Bhat Garhwali Basha Aur Yuska Sahitya, Hindi Samiti, Up, 1976. Abodbandu Bahaguna Garhwali Basha Kavyakaran, Garhwali Prakashan, New Delhi. Rajni Kukreti Garhwali Basha Kavyakaran, Windsor Pub, Dehradun, 2010. Gavine Chattak Garwali Lokgeet, Sahitya Akademi, New Delhi, 2000. Yashwant Singh Kathach Uttarakhand Khan Naveen Itahas, Windsor Pub, Dehradun, 2006. Paddy Ram Bahadur Garwal, Ancient and Modern, Pahar Publications, 2010. Bakan Singh Negi Ramcharitmanas, Srimad Bhagwat Gita Garwali Translations, Himwal Publications, Dehradun, 2007. Part 4, Volume 9 of the Linguistics Survey of India, Pahari Languages and Gujari. <laughs>